Hey guys, and welcome back to my let's play of Celestian Tales, the Old North. I'm sorry for yeah, the long delay between episode 1 and episode 2, but hopefully I can record this uh, more frequently. And yeah, let's begin. Continue with this. can go to rest or talk to other people. I guess we'll try talking to other people. <clears throat> okay, I have to read this again. <laughs> Hello, my name is Julianne. Okay, Millie is still new to all of this. She's a little afraid of making mistakes. Okay, but she looks forward to playing with the other squires. It'll be fun, right? Maybe. <laughs> I guess. Does she have anything else to say? No? Um, no. Okay. Alright. Let's go talk to her. Greetings, fellow squire. May the deus guide us both in our quest for knighthood. Alright, that's it, I guess. Hello fellow squire, what can I help you with? Let's do our best in squiring. Squiring? Is that a word? Okay. And become knights together. Chest. Nope. How about you? Hello there, can I help you with something? We're going to do many things together from now on. I hope we can work well with each other. There's one thing, I can't really see the character behind. Yeah. Hey there, what are you doing coming into my room? Mm, good question though. Can't wait till tomorrow's training. Must be a lot of swinging axes around. Or swords, or whatever weapon. Use. What's this one? Ah, it's good to see new faces around. Welcome to Levantine, Squire. Okay. Do you fancy reading? Are you here to find a book or two? You can find many things to, to read here. Go on ahead and dig in. Oh, cool. Hey, what's that? Honor medal. What's... what? Oh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> here he is. Alright, let's see what that was, what that was. No? No, apparently. I don't know what that is. Enemies that roam the wild usually move and patrol with a pattern. If you time your movement right, you can avoid engaging in combat. Well, depends on whether I get XP or not from combat. We'll see. But sure, let's go to the city and talk to people. Are you one of the new squires? I hope you enjoy your stay. Levantine is a nice city to live in. Alright. You say so. Hmm. Please don't bother me while I'm cooking. Don't want anything to get burnt, do you? Guess. Masters and misses, what are you doing in the kitchen? This isn't the place for nobles. Your clothes will get will get dirty if you stay here for too long. Um Okay. Castle dining room where the Lord and Lady eat and sometimes receive guests. We'll be dining here each evening with the Lord and Lady if they're available. Please make sure to wear something presentable. Nightgowns are not acceptable. How about armor? I'm sure you've had your share of fighting a foe or two on your own. Yeah, that dog. But fighting a group of enemies is a different beast. It can be difficult to handle alone. Yes, traveling in numbers is always the safer option. 
think twice before venturing without allies. Oh, okay, so you should probably not go outside without help. Two days wires. Did you have enough sleep last night? Um, have I slept? <laughs> Many may tell otherwise, but rest is very important for both your body and mind. Make sure you never lack sufficient rest so that you can perform optimally. Yeah, I guess it shows on my face, huh? There's a lot on my mind lately. I'm sorry to be so gloomy in such a joyous time. But thank you for noticing. I feel better already. Uh, did I did I press an option? Oh crap! Sorry about that. But thank you for noticing. Blah, blah, blah. Go and enjoy yourself now. You've earned it. Oh. Has the master at arms given a task for your training? I don't think so. Perhaps these children are still weary. After their journey here, is it wise to send them straight into training? Knighthood begins with discipline, my dear. It has to be forged from you. I'm sure Jax understand. He'll give appropriate task for these fresh squires. Don't keep him waiting now. Go meet him at the stables as soon as you are able. Have we slept? Can we get some rest first? Well, I don't think we need any rest though. So yeah, sure, why not, right? Let's go out. Uh, combat every action has merits to be considered. Defending doesn't damage your foes now, but it's two stamina prepares you for a bigger burst later. Also, don't discount the survivability it gives. Doubling your defense is huge. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Violet Red or Wait, is that really how it goes? <laughs> yeah, Violet Red, huh? The sound of flowing water and blue blue, they're so beautiful. This could be a perfect day if only he would take a hint and let me sit in peace. What are you looking at? Learn not to meddle in anyone else's business, squires. Ay, ay, ay. Can we go outside? No? I'm sorry, entrance to this area is currently restricted. Come back later. Can I go inside other people's house? Apparently not. Can I go outside the town? Welcome to Upper Levantine, where nobles and gentry reside in the city. Please mind your manners in this area. Yeah. Whoa, you serve me there. What will you do if I fall to the flux because of it? I would laugh, really. I would laugh. Still not where where am I supposed to Good equipment and well prepared consumable items are essential for proper. Always double check your inventory and make sure you have everything you need. Okay. Um seriously though, where should I be going? Where should I be going? The bridge is currently under maintenance. Go through other way. Okay. Welcome, honored squires. Come and take a look at my wares. Mm. Nothing. No money. I don't even have any money? Really? Uh, I guess I should just continue with the story, but... Mm. It's a pretty big city. Pretty big city. Shift the curtain under me. We we'll check back later. All right. There's a safe point here, but nothing really of interest around here. All right. I am going to try to find a way to get out of this town, or maybe just continue it. You know, you know what? Let's just go back to the castle and continue with the story. It seems there's. Nothing really of interest outside the town, but... Okay, let, let's talk. Hello there, are you new, the new squares people are talking about? Hope you enjoy your stay here, Levantine is a nice city to live in. Oh, it's a bit weird that they use the word squires, plural, uh, while I'm here alone. 
So yeah, I really think that I should be going back and maybe group up with the other people, other squires. Okay, okay, I'm going back. No, can't go that way. All right then. Well, in one side it's it's cool that the city is this big, but on another side it's really confusing because I don't think they have a map, right? Yeah. Are are, are there maps? Logbook? No. Yeah. Nope. I should have added a mini map feature or something. That would make it easier. There leads to the Lord Levon and Lady Sophia's private chamber. No entry allowed. Uh, Alright. Uh, so, so, hmm. You know what? I'm going to sleep. Fine. I'm going to sleep. Should I rest right now? Yeah, good idea. Can't afford to be tired tomorrow. Just begin! probably miss something but you know what nah, doesn't really matter young miss the master at arms is waiting for you at the stables please meet him as soon as you are able to okay um, I have a question though where exactly is the stable not here this looks like a training room. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the staples. Alright. You're late, squire. Get here and start working. Um, what what kind of work? <laughs> okay, yeah. Grooming the horses and stuff, right? Now listen up, squires. Horses are not merely beasts of burden. They are crucial companions for a knight. A horse gives one great advantage. Uh, one great advantages? Okay. In combat, such as mobility and power from momentum. Okay. A lance strike from a mounted knight can devastate even the toughest of foes in a single impact. But power and mobility aren't the greatest advantage these horses give. Instead, it is to be noticeable. Mounted com commanders are easier seen by their foot soldiers. Their commands can be better heard. Ah, Baron Riviere, the legendary knight known as the Moonblade, is known to be very skilled in mounted combat. A knight's mount is his status symbol. Such were his words of wisdom. This is an outrage. Why must we wallow in this, this cesspit? You're a squire. Learn to accept it. We are learning to be knights, are we not? We should be on top of these horses, not behind them. Eh, you, you gotta learn to respect the horse. Unfortunately, princess, that only applies to knights, not squires. Yes. Then what is the point of doing this? It is useless to learn what we will never need to do. To do this again or not isn't the point of this training, Squire. Yes, you will probably never do this ever again, but someone will have to do it. Someone will have to clean your horses for you, so that you can sit and lounge around lazily. Someone will have to feed them, so they have the strength to carry you on their backs. Do you even notice that there are people, real people, doing all these things for you? Yeah, don't be self-centered, centered, man. Yep. Just like w what I thought. Then this is the perfect training for you. I'll be back in a while. Don't stop picking up those nice squishy balls of dung. <laughs> so when Lord Alain talked about duty, he meant shoveling shit out of the table. Well, maybe he meant the other duty. The master at arms did have a point there though. Most nobles tend to forget that there are people doing the small things we take for granted. Yes. I know, but still. I guess this is just not the kind of training I imagined it to be. Thou and I both, Reynard. This kind of lowly task is truly beneath nobility. Please don't worry. Don't worry Camille, she's quite sweet. See? 
Then you can pat her like this. She won't bite you if you're nice to her. Ah, see, I'm not quite used to all these uh, tasks. As with me, and I would imagine none of us is. Yet, it seems Lucien and Isaac are unmoved by this horrible stench. How could you stand it? Me? Well, it's a bit different for me. I've been in the LaRue Cavalry since I was 14. I'm used to horses now. 14? I would imagine thou need some training before being accepted into the ranks. Was it because thou were a LaRue that the cavalry allowed thee in, such an, in at such youth? Of course not. The LaRue hold their banner with pride, and even I have to earn my place there. It's why my lord uncle started teaching me to fight ever since I could handle a weapon. Back then, I was seven, if I recall correctly. Since seven years old? Sweet. Seven! Dear dudes, isn't it rare for a girl to train so early? Maybe. I've been watching Lord Uncle since I was little, though, though so it wasn't that odd for me. I guess if it's the Ravager that teaches you, it's to be expected. Wait, what? You were trained by the Ravager himself? You just noticed that? He's my uncle. There's nothing weird about being taught by your uncle. Yes, but not everyone has the privilege of being the pupil of the legendary Lord Severin. Nearly is a, li a, a little lost. Who is this person you're talking about? Lord Severin LaRue, also named the Raptor. Perhaps the greatest swordsman alive in the realm. Legend has it that he's won hundred wars and has never been defeated in battle. I think I've heard about him battling the Fey forces as well. Do the elves never talk of him? Hmm, no, not really. We don't speak about humans that much in general. We really used to think that you are enigmatic creatures roaming the world outside the forest. If anyone is enigmatic, that would be the elf, Julian. Anyway, I want to personally see that someone trained by the Ravager can do. Is that a challenge, Delafere? Oh my. Hey, stop chatting and finish your work, Squire. Yeah, pick up those poop. If you don't work faster, I'll make you clean the cham chamber pots as well. <laughs> Finish at last. Now can we take a bath, O Master at Arms? A bath? Far from it. Your task for the day is merely halfway done. Yeah. You see this entire carriage full of dung? You have to deliver it to Mud Town, west of the city. Mud Town? Is it a town made of mud? No, not really. So why is it called Mud Town? Because there's a river and it's muddy? I don't know, kid. It's just a name. <laughs> so are we, why are we taking this dung pile there? Do they need it for something? Fertilizers. Got to send them fresh so the villagers can grow us good vegetables. Hmm. What's that I hear? Did you say chuckle at me, boy? Ha, another timid squire I see. Not even brave enough to admit what he did. Is this how you want to live your nightly life, Isaac? Hiding when you're confronted? Is that wussy kind of life the one you're aiming for? If not, then tell it to my face. Yeah. Manure isn't just fresh, Master at Arms. They have to compose for weeks before it can be used. Ah. If you use it straight from the horse, it won't be vegetables that grow, but weeds. Really? Yes. Fresh dung contains too much water, which makes it easy for weeds to grow. If left to compost, the, gun, the dung will dry up, which makes it easier for vegetables to grow. That's surprisingly in insightful, Isaac. Hmm. There, not so hard, isn't it, Squire? Now, instead of being known as meek, others will think you're knowledgeable. <laughs> you know, at least he's fair, the master at arms. You do seem to have know-how about our agriculture. Do, you, do plainsmen do a lot of farming? No, not that much. I just learned about it. Now listen up, Squires, this is a very important lesson. More often than not, traveling is a dangerous task everywhere. Roads are invested with wild animals and criminals alike. To mitigate these dangers, you must split into parties of three and prepare for encounters. A party of three can work well together. More than that, and a fight turns cluttered and chaotic. Okay. Also, while the three stand in the front lines, the others can handle other tasks, such as guarding the cart. I would prefer to take the vanguard, rather than being in the proximity of this horrendous stench. Me too, let me go ahead and have a swing of my axe. 
you know, it'll take a while to have all of you fight over who does what. So here's how it'll go. Camille, pick two to go with you and range ahead. The rest will stay with the cart and depart a few minutes after you. Do I have to pick? Well then... You can switch active party members to the reserve anytime out of combat to do it. Access the menu and change the party composition. The active party is the team that will fight battles. The party leader cannot be set to reserve and must always remain in the active party. Do you understand what I'm saying? Understand. Good. Now go and return before sunset. Yeah. Deliver those poop. Be careful of wild mongrels out there. The mountain roads can be treacherous. Alright, let's see the party then. Arya and Lucien. You know what? You deserve to be near the dung. Hey, you know what? I like Ilian, so... These three will be in the front. I like these three. You two, not so much. You, I'm still neutral about you. Right, let's go and deliver the poop. Is it this way? Uh, I think it's this way. Probably. Long way downstairs. Oh. Yeah, I think it's this way, right? Sorry, entrance. What? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let's just do it. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Ah. Uh, doesn't really explain where to go though. Did it say west, right? So I'm going the wrong way, but. Am I supposed to. Hmm. Okay. Be careful of the savage beast lurking in the mountain, they'll attack anyone they see, avoiding combat will save you time and effort, it's always an option to consider. Alright, let's save! Yes. But if I avoid combat, will I get any XP? Oh, okay. I guess this is the correct way to go then? There, I'm avoiding combat. I'm assuming um, experience is gained by objectives, not not by oh shit. Right. Well, let's hit the spider first. Oof. Focus fire. Focus fire. Alright. Pretty tough. Why won't you die? Oh my god. Okay, it's dead. It's dead. Victory! Oh, you do get experience from fighting these creatures. Wrong. Wait. Health? Does health regenerate? If yes, then oh my god, I'm not avoiding combat. Health regenerates, nice. Yeah, I'm not. Re I'm not avoiding combat. Although I guess. Just grinding levels isn't really useful. Because I heard that 
you don't really need to grind in this game. So I guess I'll, I'll just fight whatever is in the way and, and not fight everything in, in the road. That'll take too much time, I think. Die! Oh my god. Alright, let's use a skill. Sharpen. Remove poison and erase enemy aggression to this yell. Nah, just the thing. You know, one one more combat and it'll be level up for all of them, so I might consider leveling up. Come on, let's fight. Level up. Die. Not yet. Die. Alright. Dude. Holy shit, that's, that's a lot of damage. Alright, it's dead. Level up. Projectile study. Defensive stance. Tempered in combat. Oh, even the... Reserve people gain experience too. Nice. That's a good thing to have. Um, south or wherever that this is. Shit, I don't know where to go. Oh! There it is, the cart from Levantine has arrived. Greetings, villagers. We are here to deliver the contents of this cart on behalf of Lord LA. Look at that, such a big pile of dung. Ugh, indeed. The stench is sickening. Is it really? Uh, it somewhat is, but at least there were beasts to fight. I thought it was going to be a boring trip, but that was kind of fun, I'd say. At least you're happy. Why are you happy to hurt animals, Reynard? Do humans find it fun? Of course! The heat of combat, the feeling of your weapon hitting a foe, it's exhilarating. Lily doesn't understand. <laughs> Don't worry, Lily. Me neither. Cart is yours now. Please take care of it. You will, miss. Please inform Lord Levant that we are truly grateful for this. Alright. Never has I seen someone so happy over them. In the castle, the heap is nothing but filth. But here, they have their uses. Turning filth into something useful. Lord Elaine does know what his people need. Lily think it's pretty clever. She will tell her mother about this one day. Does Elf not use fertilizer? Is this how ma a wise man rules? Duty to the people. Huh. And duty to the people. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. At any rate, we should return. The sun will set soon. Right now? Does thy endurance know no bound, Lucien? I would assume that it does not. Why don't we take a look around for a bit before walking back? Seeing how the commoners are doing is... Are doing is part of a noble's duty too, right? No, seeing how the commoners are doing. Right? That's a good idea, really. Very well. Let's take a rest for a while before going back. Are we going to see? Oh, okay. We can move around. He really likes this village. So it's it's so peaceful, so different from the city and castle. The village reminds me of her home. Do many humans live like this? Unfortunately, Mudtown is an exception. Since it's only reachable from Levantine, the village has always been safe from outlaw. Not many can say the same. Indeed, prosperous village villages are rare out there, and if there are any, they often become ripe targets for bandits and marauders. The realm is a dangerous place, Ilian. It's not always like this. Sometimes people are so poor, they have no choice but to become bandits. Yeah, it's true though. If living honest lives isn't enough to feed their families, and still they must pay taxes to the nobles, wouldn't you do that as well? Mm. We may see the outlaws simply from the surface, but there's always a bigger story behind it. Nobody wants to be criminal because they're born evil. Some do though, some do. Isaac, there is no need to put ourselves in that place. 
Deus Falaris created the lowborn to serve us, the noble ca caste. In turn, we are to guide and protect them. This how, this how the Deus wrote the world, and this how it should be. If one cannot afford to pay taxes, they may serve the realm in other ways, such as becoming soldiers. Never is there an excuse to take what is not rightfully thine. Such atrocities simply cannot be justified. You know, uh, well, I do agree with her to an extent, but sometimes people just don't have the option. I agree with that. Soldiering is much more exciting than a peaceful life anyway. Seriously, don't people get bored here? There's no fights, no dangers, I die in a week. Well, not everyone is so itching for a fight. Hey boy, yes, you there. You boy, come here. You're going to scare him, no. Yes, master? Did you call for me? Are there any giant beasts around here we can hunt? Any renegades we can squash? No, there's nothing like them around here. See? It's so boring. Don't you agree with me, kid? Well, a bit. Are there always giant beasts, robbers, and renegades outside, master? I've always wanted to leave this village and travel, but I don't know what's out there. You should be thankful to have good crops every year and not starve. Some villages out there are starving to death. If those kinds of people want to leave their homes, I can understand. But here, this village is already far better off than most in the realm. Why would you even want to leave? It's... Yeah, that's also true. It's my father, young master. I want to go outside the village to look for him. He hasn't returned for years, and I, have, and I haven't heard anything from him. But I'm sure he must be out there, somewhere. Are you sure you want to do that? It's a dangerous world out there. A different kind of place than this peaceful village. A boy like you won't survive for long. How are you going to find him if you can't take, or, take care of yourself? I guess you're right, miss. A kid like me would have little chance fighting beasts and, or bandits. But I can always avoid them, right? Avoiding enemies might be easy at first glance. But life isn't that simple. There will inevitably be encounters that you'll have no choice but to face. The more you avoid enemies, the less you'll be the less you'll be trained physically and mentally. There will be fewer fights, but the ones you have to face will be harder. Is she talking about this game? If you keep avoiding enemies, you won't be leveling up. That doesn't just go for you; it goes for us as well. Yeah, she really is talking about the game. That's why it's not always wise to avoid enemies just because we're lazy. I see then. I guess. I should start training from now. After everything she said, you're still going to leave this village someday? Of course, master. If words can put my spirit down, how am I ever going to find my father? Look at this young lad. More villagers should learn from your confidence. What's your name, brave kid? It's Cameron, master. Cameron, huh? Good luck finding your father. If you ever met, meet again, tell me what you've seen in your travel. Now go back to what you were doing. The props won't farm themselves, you know. Will do, Master. Thank you for encouraging me. You shouldn't have encouraged him, yet, Renard. He's but a kid. Ha! The girl who started wielding weapon at seven wants to lecture me about this. It's getting late. We should get going. Master at arms must be waiting for us. Oh, there you go. Stop the loot. Stop the Stop the loot. Aged necklace. Is this a merchant? Mud town is small, but it's got fresh local goods second to none. Oh my. <laughs> what what? Those are just loots, right? So we can just sell these. I assume. Yeah? Sell them. Or you know, I might be making a mistake here. Sometimes we 
can use those items for something else, or maybe a quest. Yeah, you know what? I'll I'll just farm some loot. Oh. Being stationed in a village is an easy job, but it's so boring. I just wish for at least a friend to chat with. How about talking with you, masters and missus? Are you in a mood for a chat? Let's see, do you know that you can control your enemy's targets? Uh, yes, I do know. Some skills can do that, right? My town very rarely get any sunshine, so there's not much choice of crops. The realm is cloudy all year long, and the great white serpent blocks all hopes of some morning light. Great white serpents? Does, does that mean the clouds or something? Well, it's been quite a while. I'm going to save first. Alright, that's it for now. I'm sorry for that for me with the loud. Yeah. We'll I'll see you guys next time. Bye.